So I was, when I was listening to this CD, the you know, a couple of times I've heard it so far, you know, I, I just got this sense again about the rootsiness of your music, about where it seems to come from so far back, even the, the, the newer songs, you know, just have that feel, and Dirt Farmer had the same kind of feel, and, mm -hmm. and um, it's kind of got the roots, that Americana feel to it, the country feel, and, you know, and maybe you could talk a little bit about the, where that, what that comes out of the background, you know, your hometown. You know, I think, I think a lot of our sound has to do with the instrumentation. Uh huh. You know, we use uh, mandolins right. and acoustic guitars and dobros and fiddles and things. Mm -hmm. So a lot of our music has that acoustic quality. We use a stand-up bass. Yeah. You know, 95% of the time, 99% mm -hmm. of the time. Uh -huh. and, uh, and that gives us that acoustic sound. It doesn't have that, uh, that kind of a roar. Or that drone uh, that, that an electric bass gives, uh, yeah. gives the music. Uh -huh. So yeah. I think that, and maybe just, I don't know, it might be age too, you know. <laughs> well, that sure that has something to do with age. <laughs> uh -huh. Anybody? And background, I mean, you you don't you didn't come from the Bronx like yeah. I did. Well, you know that that, that, that is still what uh, what butters our bread, though. Uh -huh. You know that same sound, and and for me, it's I'm sure it's the same for all of us. It's that quality sound. There's no electronics that give it a trickery. There's no nothing except just a pure God-given tone. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's irresistible to me. And even if we're using electric instruments, guitars or keyboards, you know, right. it's, it's basically about keeping, uh, not adulterating the sound, you know, just keeping right. a, a pure, plug, the, plug it into the amp and play kind of sound, yeah. you know, yeah. which in its own way is sort of an acoustic thing, uh -huh. you know, and, and, um, and see, I mean, Levon's thing, my interpretation Levon's musical being mm -hmm. uh, is, is that it comes out of the woods, it comes out of the dirt, it comes uh -huh. out of the, the, the mountains, it comes out of the, you know, it, it doesn't come out of brick and mortar, it doesn't come from, uh, doesn't come out of a Hollywood script, it doesn't come out of, uh, uh, you know, there's nothing manufactured about it, it's just, it's just sort of natural, mm -hmm. and, um, and, you know, at, from the producing side of this thing, uh, I you know I really loved that, and 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 I felt like it was my job to, you know, as a producer, you got to take the, the what a person is naturally, and 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 let that uh, uh -huh. really let that live, you know? and, and um, uh. From my days of listening to him with the band, and and, um, <clears throat> and at the time when the band was was, you know, in their heyday, I was completely absorbed in, in acoustic American music. At the time. You know, I was right. from, from the Carter family and Jimmy Rogers up to the blues guys, and, uh, and and all the country guys and the bluegrass thing and the old time music thing, and and to hear these guys. Uh, doing basically rock and roll, but with all that stuff present in there, mm -hmm. it was it was it was a feast for the ears. Yeah, me, you know? and 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 when we did the Dirt Farmer record, um, um, Amy and I both agreed that this is this is let's find the root of Levon Hell. Uh huh. The, the, the root. Right. And 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 that one we just kept it narrow on the acoustic side you know, just because that's that's as close to where he came from as we can get and um this one we're expanding on. uh -huh. that's, that's basically right let's make sure this is really yep seems, seems, seems to be going um and speaking of amy i mean there is also something special about the family connection with two singers that yeah. that are in whether it's brothers like the carter uh, like the uh, Stanley Brothers or um, yeah, the, the Everly Brothers, Brothers or the Leuven yeah, Brothers or sure. um, or family bands and so forth. And there is a some special thing that happens when you and Amy sing together. Oh, yeah. And um, it's, you know. One of, the, one of the 
best things ever happen, you know, is uh, that feeling you get yeah. from uh, playing with the younger kids, you know, especially your own. You yeah, know? sure. And uh, I, I think that's a whole lot of it. And over the five years, you know, with, with Larry and Teresa and the sound that Amy and Teresa have been able to uh, invent, you know, the sound of their two voices, they're the most different background singers you ever hear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, they, they really cover that uh, whatever flavor we're in, they can just add that kind of a color and tone to it. Yep. So I, and over the five years, I think we've all grown together. We've, we've made yeah. a family. The band mm -hmm. has mm -hmm. kind of grown into itself and uh, everybody has got kind of their own band on the side. and. Uh, and when we all come together to, to form a unit, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful time. Mm. Yeah, the whole thing feels family. Uh -huh. it feels, you know, Teresa came from Tennessee, and, and she's, right. she, she says all the time about how this is just like going to sing with your aunts and your uncles and your, and, and your grandparents and your mother and father and your sisters and your brothers. That's, yeah. It's the same, it, it's that kind of, you know, where we're doing this for a living, but Really, we're doing it because we love getting together and right. making music together. Right. Absolutely. Uh, and, yeah. And, um, and with Amy and Levon, you know, uh, there's Amy. You know, uh, Levon said uh, she she basically grew up listening to him playing. With him sure. And she completely absorbed all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Completely absorbed, and has a really healthy respect for where he comes from. Understands where he comes from, and um, uh, and she, in her own musical personality, is sort of uh, really fluent in the soul side of what Levon does. You know, the soul and the R and B side of what Levon does. Mm -hmm. Whereas yeah. Teresa, in her musical experience, is very, uh, uh, really uh, fluent in the in the. Uh, in the country and 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 folk and, and uh, bluegrass, bluegrass yep. side, mm -hmm. and and you put all these together. That's what I that's, hear when they sing. Yeah, together. right. Yeah, I yeah. hear that. I hear yeah. all the way from blues gospel yeah, exactly. right into bluegrass yeah. gospel. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and that's, that's a great tone. It's unbeatable. It is. You know? It is.